Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the biggest Windows 11 24H2 update for the month of July on the main release. In this video, we are talking about the build 26100.4770 or build code KB5062660. In this video, we're gonna mention briefly all the new features that are worth mentioning. And of course, if you want to see an in-depth overview of all the new features, all the new changes, and also every fix that was applied, you can also check out one of my previous videos. So the these things being said, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in order to get this update and get all the latest features as soon as possible, just make sure to open up the settings app, then go to Windows Update, and then make sure you check the get the latest updates as soon as they're available option, and then click on check for updates. And this way, you should get both the update, which is, as I've said, the build code KB50626. And also the latest features should be automatically enabled for you Additionally, you can also open up the Microsoft Store and then go to downloads in the left side and then click on check for updates This way you're gonna get all the latest updates for all the apps that Microsoft is sending out in this update And of course app that we're gonna cover in just a few minutes now talking about new features Of course Microsoft is also adding some new improvements for recall click to do and also the new settings AI agent for Copilot plus PCs But we don't have a Copilot plus PC PC, so we're not covering that in this video. For more information, of course, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post if you want to see more things about AI features and if you have a Copilot Plus PC. Now, for all users, if you open up the settings app, you may have noticed that the search box in the settings app is now moved to the top. This is basically something related to the AI agent on Copilot Plus PCs. If you were to type something related to a setting, AI would automatically help you find the setting. Well, for normal computers, the search box is just moved at the top with no additional functionalities. Also inside Windows Update, Advanced Options, and then Optional Updates, this page was improved because it didn't show certain updates or certain updates were not showing correctly in this page and that is now fixed. A huge change in this update is the new Quick Machine Recovery feature. So if you go to System and then scroll down to Recovery, you may notice this new option, Quick Machine Recovery. If your device fails to start, we'll try to fix the problem with Device Recovery Solutions. And basically with this option, your system System will restart. Microsoft will automatically try to find solutions for your operating system. This is the best to use whenever your operating system is not booting up. Of course, you can enable this and you can also enable continue searching if a solution isn't found. You can change look for solution every and also restart every minutes. You can play around with these settings if you want. But overall, this is a nice new addition that will help a lot of people fix their issues whenever their device fails to boot or start. BSOD is also changing its design starting with this build. Basically, Basically, BSOD will no longer be blue, it will be in two different variants, green or black, and it will have a more minimalistic design in Windows 11. Also for apps that support jump lists on the taskbar, if you right click on that, you may notice that recent files also allow you to quickly share that item. I think this is a great addition, if you click on that, the share section or window will pop up, you can share it to your phone, email, and different apps. Also related to widgets, if I were to enable widgets here, you may notice that we have the new when you UI 3 widgets board, which is looking pretty good in my opinion, but still not enough for me to use it because I don't find it very useful for me. In this build, there are also some improvements for Windows Search. As always, Microsoft is improving Windows Search to be more reliable, faster, and so on. Related to the gamepad keyboard layout, Microsoft is also applying some improvements, allowing you to better use your controller to navigate through Windows and use it to even type. And now talking about new apps in this build, we can talk about the new Snipping Tool app, which now allows you to export export a recording into a GIF file. So if I were to click on new recording, do here a quick recording, I'm just going to click on start and then I'm going to move my mouse do some random things and then stop this recording. You may notice that in this screen or window, we have the option to create a GIF and we can select high, which will be a larger file for the quality. And we have here a few information. We can click on export or even quickly copy it. If you want, let's export it to our desktop quickly. And as you can see, it is quickly exported. Now, if we double click on this video, you will see that it is quickly exported. The quality is pretty good. It's not the best, but for a GIF, of course, it's a pretty good quality. If you want to create a quick GIF to show something, a setting or anything like that. Related to the Microsoft Store, Microsoft Store in the European Economic Area can now be directly uninstalled from the start menu or the search box. And also Microsoft is adding the new install ability directly from the homepage. So basically, if you see here an app that you already own or it is free, you can directly install it from the homepage. 
page. As I've said, in addition to this, there are also a lot of fixes in this update, but you can check those in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post if you're interested. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. As you from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.